Welcome to the introduction for the Sneakers Incorporated business game. In the business game, you will be the management team of a starting sneaker brand. As a management team, you will compete against other teams. They too have their own starting sneaker brand. Within the business game, there are different rounds in which you make decisions. Every round resembles one year in your organization. In each round, you can earn ranking points based on your performance on the goals which you wrote down in your business plan. The team that wins the most points after the last round wins the game. Before you can determine the business goals of your organization, you have to conduct an analysis. First, analyze the market. Go to analysis and take a look at the sneaker market. To find all the relevant information on both your financial position and your current workforce, click on results. Here you can see how your company is doing. After the first round, you can also find information on sales and the inventory level. Next up is the business plan. Base your business plan on the information you found at analysis and results. When making a business plan, go to competition and think about how your sneaker brand distincts itself from the competition. Thus, try to determine the focus points of your company. Then choose the markets you want to enter. Think about the different market segments your company will appeal to. Note that the more market sectors you're trying to address, the harder it will be to deal with all those different segments properly since there is missing a clear focus. However, choosing just one market sector can also pose a risk. You end up generating insufficient revenue to cover costs and justify any potential investments. After determining your distinctiveness and the relevant market sectors, you have to set specific targets for each round. Select five targets for each and every round. After you've made a business plan and a decision on which market to enter, you have to make a company profile. Think about a name for your company's sneaker brand and come up with a logo. When determining your name and logo, keep the relevant market that you have decided upon in your business plan in mind. Then, add members to your team and determine their job titles. Consider who is going to be CEO. Also appoint a marketing manager an accountant, and a human resource manager. At the company profile page, there is a possibility to change your password. When a team member decides to change the password, he or she has to let the other team members know. Please keep in mind that your password is the key to your organization. After you're done writing your business plan and finished your company's profile, it's time to start implementing your business plan. To do this, go to the decisions page where you have to make business decisions in the following sections, management, purchasing, marketing, staff, and financial. When you've made all your business decisions, your team is ready for the round calculation. At the communications page, there is the schedule of the round calculation. Here you can also find information about both the macro and the meso environment. The news is an important part of the simulation. Here you will find information about what is going to happen within the sneaker market. Lastly, every team can publish press messages and upload their own marketing campaigns. Although these communications components are not read by the program, they can be evaluated on a separate basis. For more support, either take a look at the other instruction videos or consult the help desk via the support button at the top of the page. Before you start playing the business game, there are some things you might want to consider. When taking decisions with your team, keep all the variables in mind. Take into account the sales within the relevant market segments, your business plan, the connections between the different divisions, and the costs. It's recommendable to keep a log of both the choices you make during and the expectations you have for each round. Besides a log, it's highly advisable to create an Excel spreadsheet in which you try to calculate the costs per product. Moreover, with the spreadsheet, you can make other financial analyses. These calculations will help you to determine how much products you will have to sell to reach the break-even point, how long it takes before you have return on your investments, and whether there is enough cash available to make all the necessary expenses. 